Hey guys, so I wanted to make a video um, about the news that has dropped um, about uh, Andrew Lincoln leaving The Walking Dead. And um, I'm gonna try to make this video short, but I highly doubt that I'm going to be successful in that endeavor. Um, the first thing that um, there's just like a couple things I want to say before I really get into it. Uh, the first thing is I I know it's just a show. Everybody can <laughs> say that. I am sad about it. We'll get into that. Um, but you, you know, if you're upset about, I just want to say this, like if you're upset about it too, and people are, you know, saying, you know, it's just a show, get over it, whatever. Um, you know, I'm not like kicking and screaming and crying and like throwing a tantrum or anything, but I'm sad about it and it's okay. I'm gonna say this on camera, guys. It's okay <laughs> if you're bummed about it or whatever. Um, the other thing that I kind of wanted to say is let's try to be kind of like civil to each other about our opinions about it because uh, just I know it's the nature of the internet. I say this in so many of my videos and I know it doesn't stick a lot of the time, um, but nobody's stupid for whatever opinion they have. Some people might think it was a great, not a great thing, but um, like the, the show will still go on and it'll still be good. Some people think that, you know, the show should just end as he goes and, and, and all of that stuff. Um, but let's try to just talk. I want to vent and I feel like it's been I work so hard on on videos a lot that it's been a while since I've just kind of like done kind of a I'm just gonna talk to you about you know uh, how I'm feeling about something and uh, so this is that video um, obviously it per pertains to The Walking Dead but um, kind of personal I don't know um, so if you guys don't know Walking Dead is my favorite show of all time and I've watched a lot of shows um, also, Rick Grimes is my favorite TV character of all time. Um, and it was so funny, so I'll tell you the story of how I found out. So yesterday, I had to pick up a friend uh, at the airport. Um, and the airport's like an hour and 45 minutes away from me, so I was driving for a bit, not checking my phone. Um, and uh, so I was like... I drove, you know, I, I picked her up, I dropped her off. She still lives like 45 minutes away from my house. So I was just in the car for a long time yesterday. And I had the GPS up though on my phone, like, you know, mounted and stuff. And, and I just kept, like, I got a bunch of texts at the, like, are you okay? I'm here for you. Like weird, but it was cryptid. Nobody said what it was about. Like it was just weird, cryptic texts from you know like friends and stuff and I was like okay and I was like okay I'm not gonna and at that point I was probably like kind of close to um my house I was like 20 minutes away stuck in traffic because it was rush hour and all that stuff and I'm like what the hell is going on that like and I'm just like did somebody die like I, whatever um and uh so I finally am able to check my phone I look at like Twitter and all I see is like, I'm, I'm just glancing so quickly and all I see is like Andrew Lincoln, Andrew Lincoln, like a lot of Andrew Lincoln. And I literally was like, holy fuck, Andrew Lincoln died. And I was just like, I just was like, what, what, what do you mean? And then I saw that it said that he was leaving the Walking Dead. So for a brief, slight second of moment, I was actually kind of glad that Andrew Lincoln wasn't dead. So there's that. Silver lining, guys. He's not dead. <laughs> um, but I, um, but then I saw, you know, he's leaving in season nine. I didn't click. I still haven't clicked on any of the, like, articles or anything like that. It seemed to be confirmed. A lot of sources, like Entertainment Weekly and, you know, like, uh, people were publishing it and I just didn't want to read about it. I didn't want to find out when he's going to leave. I don't know if I want to find that out for a long time, but I'm sure you guys will tell me. Even if I say, 
I don't want to know. There's be some people are like, he's leaving. <laughs> this episode specifically, they said, I don't know if they said anything like that, but, um, and, uh, and so I went to my messages, uh, so from a lot of my like online friends, reactor friends and stuff like that. And like, literally you would think, I mean, just I, the amount of like condolences that I got, it was in sane and I am very vocal especially in like like group chats with like other online friends I'm very vocal about my love for Rick Grimes like I bring it up every other sentence so I mean it may <laughs> like it makes sense um and there were just I, like everybody was really like don't tell Jess <laughs> um and uh yeah, so I mean, everybody was trying to see if I was okay, which was very sweet of them, I must say. Um, and yeah, so uh, my thoughts on it, I'm just gonna briefly say, uh, the first thing that I would like to say is that weirdly, I'm really happy for him. Um, and I'll get to the, old, the little selfish part of me in a second, but like I'm, I feel like it's been such, like, filming for The Walking Dead is such a huge commitment. And he's been, you know, um, like, even if his, and I don't know his living situation, um, but like, even if his family is like, in Atlanta when he's filming, or whatever, or something like that, he's still like, on set all the time, you know, like, I feel, it's a demanding job, and, and, so I'm kind of, kind of happy that he's going to go and, and kind of, um, I don't know if it's really he wants to pursue other projects. I, I would assume that it's just to, I think uh, Chandler Riggs did an exit interview after um, the mid-season finale or the mid-season premiere. It was one of those. And Chandler Riggs even said, you know, like, Andrew's missing his family. So, I don't know, you know, like, and so part of me is really happy that he's going and, you know, um, taking care of that. And because, and I can't relate on any big scale or anything like that. Don't get me wrong. Don't, like, quote me on this or whatever. But it's like, I, I know what it's like. I do channel stuff all the time. Um, literally, I, if I am not filming, I am editing, I am uploading or exporting something, and like I'm or I'm figuring out what's the next thing I have to film, and it, it's just it's a constant thing for me, and I love doing it. But it, like I I do like again on the smallest scale, I do understand what it's like where like people will still like demand more or, you know, kind of not entirely understand that, like, you need a personal life or you need to take a break every so often. And, and especially something like The Walking Dead with, you know, um, how one, just emotionally demanding, but just the physical conditions, you know, really hot in Georgia, well, you know, um, or wherever they're filming and, and stuff like that. I just think that you know, so the first thing that I will say, I am kind of actually really happy for him to kind of uh, do that. Okay, so uh, I will start by saying that. Uh, second thing I'm going to say is that obviously I am going to miss, I'm going to cry. Like, I'm just so stupid and I'm sorry because I feel like um, you guys are like, you cry all the time. <laughs> um, but uh, TV shows can mean a lot to people, and The Walking Dead means a lot. If, if The Walking Dead didn't exist, this channel wouldn't exist. This whole thing, it, you know, I would have never have started any of this if it wasn't for The Walking Dead and how much I loved The Walking Dead. Um, which that is probably uh, going to still go on. I, th I don't think that they'll end it. Um, just my personal opinion, I don't, it, it still is like great, f 
for, um, you know, like, like viewership and money for AMC. I, I don't think, I, I don't, I hate to say it, but I doubt AMC is going to, not that I hate to say it. Let me, <laughs> I'm not saying things right, but like, I, I want The Walking Dead to go on forever. I love it. It's my favorite show. Um, but I, I really don't know how it's going to be after Andrew Lincoln. And also, um, like there's, there's, there's going to be limited Maggie. I don't know how much of that is confirmed. Um, and like there's rumors that deny might leave. I don't know, but it is just like, oh my God, I don't, I have no idea what, what this means, you know? Um, and I've always said kind of to myself that like I feel like Rick will always be safe um I had three three favorites Rick was always the top I had two favorites kind of underneath Rick <laughs> when it came to like my top favorites and they both died so <laughs> um like and I I said I think that they're going to keep Rick until somebody shows up that can really be on par with Andrew with his acting, you know, like, and can deliver those really powerful emotional scenes. And I think the next level or the, the person that's closest to Andrew is Melissa. I would, I would say that for me. Um, but, and, but I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I, I just, I just didn't think, but obviously this is more his decision than the show. So, um, I, I'm going to be sad. I'm going to just lose my mind. Um, <sighs> Sorry. These, uh, it's so stupid because people think that, like, I get yelled at a lot. Um, not yelled at, but just like a lot of comments that are just like, The Walking Dead's so stupid, or I, I stopped watching years ago, or whatever, why do you still watch it, or whatever. That's fine. I don't, like, that's fine. I don't, I don't understand, but like, it, it's, like, I still love it. And one of the main reasons that I still love it is because of Andrew Lincoln and Rick's journey. I don't care, and I've said this on weekly chats before, especially with some of the controversial, maybe like decisions that Rick made this season. I don't care if I have crazy Rick. I don't care if I have like, like kind of, you know, um, maybe not making the best choices Rick or good guy Rick or in love with Michonne Rick or whatever. I love the way that Andrew Lincoln has been able to portray so many like ranges of what this character has gone through. You know what I mean? We have, um, you know, just like big moments, um, season two where he kills Shane and, and says, this is a, this is not a de democracy anymore. And there's this, there's this anger that he has that kind of says like, I, like you guys look at me to make all the decisions, but when I make decisions, you question it and it's driving me nuts. <laughs> That was my internal monologue that I gave Rick at the end of season two. Um, him finding out about Lori was just, that killed me. The throat biting scene and everything. His journey in season four is one of my favorite journeys to watch in the entire show. I just loved from Farmer Rick to where he got, you know, right before Terminus and um, you know, Terminus uh, Rick, where he's like, motherfucker, I'm gonna kill you with a red shetty machete with a red handle that's what that's yeah but um and then uh just uh his freak out one of my favorite scenes is his freak out um in alexandria where he's covered in the blood and he's like you gonna kick me out <laughs> like i love that one um and just it just keeps going on everything with the horrifying uh premiere of season seven and and him you know, seeing how he can get back and, and, and learn to fight and and him obviously saying goodbye to Carl was really rough and um, 
And, yeah, I mean, he just... Andrew Lincoln's portrayal of Rick Grimes made me fall in love with storytelling so much that I started a YouTube channel, like, talking about and reacting and sharing my love of TV shows with you guys be because of him. So, I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh, the comments are going to be terrible. <laughs> Why is she crying? It's okay. Typical Walking Dead video for me where people yell at me for crying. Um, yeah. So, I'm sad, but I'm happy for him. So it's very bittersweet for me. Um, and I'm not going to really uh, go into anything else uh, talking about him because then I'll just be bawling and, and it won't be cute. Um, but, uh, um, all I really wanted to say, I, I just wanted to share with you my thoughts and have kind of a personal video because it, it does kind of make me sad, but I'm happy for him and it's weird. It's a weird thing. And I know that, and you know, if you guys do want to talk about, just please try to be civil with each other in the comments section. Um, uh, if you think it should end soon after, listen, if they continue, I'm there. The Walking Dead is more than Rick Grimes. It is. There's so much story to tell. There's so many amazing actors still left. You know, like it's not, it, there, it's a big loss if we lose Rick, Maggie, and Mich that would be crazy. Um, uh, yeah, absolutely nuts. And I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest, but, um, but I wouldn't, I would not, like, give up on a, on my favorite show, the show that means, like, the most to me because of this. But this is sad to me. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> what a weird video. I don't even know if I'm going to upload this because I feel kind of weird, like crying about it, but whatever, this is how I'm feeling right now. So this is what I'm going to share with you. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. I mean, I'm... I'm going to continue watching no matter what, and, um, but Andrew Lincoln, not that you would ever see this video, but you are just wonderful, and you will be so, so missed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.